let's talk Rye Lane. I love it, and I think you will too. So Rye Lane is currently streaming on Hulu, and it follows these two South London Gen Zers. One an accountant who is lovesick, and another who is an aspiring costume designer who is lovelorn. So they have a meet cute. He is in the unisex bathroom sulking over his past relationship. His girlfriend of six years has been sleeping with his best friend, whom he's still friends with and they set up a meeting. He has to face them to get some understanding of why this happened to him. But he meets a girl in the restroom, a unisex restroom. He, she hears him crying and she tries to cheer him up best she can. They are at a mutual friends art show they end up spending the day together. These have been done before, but there's something really special about this one because they spend together walking and debriefing each other over their past relationship. He trying to figure out where he went wrong and she trying to figure out why she wasted so much time in her past relationship knowing it wasn't working. But she spends a lot of her time trying to help him get over his ex because she was no good for him. I think what makes this rom-com so beautiful and brilliant is that it is so picturesque. They invite us in to this beautiful scenery. It is so beautiful and they go from store to store, they're trying food, but I just love how picturesque this is. Every scene is as beautiful as the previous. I was so mesmerized by how beautiful all of the background, the backdrop is in this South London neighborhood. And I just thought the chemistry between these two actors was so inviting. There was so much chemistry and most of it, they're just friends. They just are a shoulder for the other. And that's what's so beautiful about this. A lot of rom-coms have been using the old formula. And I think this had something fresh and new and genuine and authentic. I highly recommend this film. Searchlight Pictures snatched this right up out of Sundance. And I'm so glad they did. I love that for us. I am looking for big things for David Johnson and Vivian Opera. I love their chemistry and I hope that they can work together again the way we used to have Meg Ryan and Tom Hanks work together. They had such great chemistry in the 80s and 90s. I want that for us. I want that for them. They did such an amazing job. This is the film you're going to want to see again. Rom-coms lately have not been This great. just has something special about it. I felt transplanted in the story. It was really inclusive in a way, and it looked so beautiful to watch. And Colin Firth makes a cameo. It's really cute. This is a good movie. You would be just mesmerized and so caught up in the story. The one thing I did have trouble with was the accents. The Brixton accent or South London accent is very, very thick. But I like that they didn't um, diminish the authenticity of the area and the culture. It felt like I was touring this area and I was included in the conversation into what it really feels like, uh, you know, a day in a life of, you know, people who live in this area. This is director Rain Allen Miller's directorial debut. I am so surprised. What a wonderful job she did. This film is so atmospheric. The way her camera caught the beauty of their black skin. The characters are so creamy and nutmeggy with all of the background, the colorful background, how beautifully contrasted their skin is with the backdrop of all of these vibrant colors. She did an amazing job with this film and I cannot wait to see what else she has in store for us. I had a great time watching this. Rye Lane is currently streaming on Hulu. 